Anyway guys, I went for some junk hunting and the current video is all about this mm, cart thing here. So guys, like the title says, I want to build a um, trailer for my lawnmower and I want to use this as the trailer. I mean, the thing looks pretty sturdy, probably made in the Soviet Union times. It has solid wheels, no air in them and pretty solid bearings as well for the wheels so i think this would be a perfect candidate for my trailer build i mean the only problem it has is this wheel but i'm pretty sure i don't need this wheel so i can just swap these out i mean one thing that kinda is worrying is the narrow profile of the tires maybe they're not that good on soft soils but I'm gonna leave them on for now, maybe it's not a problem. Another thing that I managed to score was this cart thing. I think it's pretty much the same as that without any bed on it. And also decided to take this one as well. I guess um, I guess it's kind of useful, not really sure yet. But anyway, let's bring the lawnmower in here and uh, get to work on this trailer build. This thing is bigger than the tractor itself. I hope that's not gonna be an issue. So I bought this thing like five years ago now. I have never used it, this thing. This is a pretty interesting tool. This thing though, I mean, the axle is pretty far back and if I remove the first wheel then there's going to be a lot of weight on that uh, dong there. How would I proceed here? Maybe I should use this thing instead while leaving the front wheels on. I'm kind of thinking that might work. If I leave the front wheels on, then there will be virtually no weight on the tongue. All the weight will be supported by these wheels. I think let's use this frame instead. Get a bucket from that and try to fit it on here. I mean, I can just weld this thing here like this. I need to make sure that this part can actually move up and down. I'm pretty much picking this up as we go along here. a bit too much. This should work.
wow either I can't see anything or I'm drunk a bit better Crap. Ow. Should be fine. Literally like half a millimeter. I kind of wonder how will this work out. Let's go uh, do a little test drive and see if this actually works out. Can you stop or is it going to be a problem? It's going to be a problem. Okay, well this uh, setup here seems to be working out great. So this frame bar needs the ability to move up and down because I decided to left the front wheels on. If I did not have these front wheels here, I could just weld this to the frame and it would not be a problem. But anyway, now that this setup works, I can continue this work. Let's get this uh, thumb bed on this uh, frame. <laughs> Gives. Can't even see anything. At 
this this one has a bed on it. And there were probably about 50 of them there. And all of them just went to the scrapyard. Uh, all right, now comes the hard part. So I actually want to make this thing dumpable. And I want to use this cheap card jack to make the dumping happen. Not sure if it's going to work out. I don't know, it's kind of YOLO this. I think my blade has worn out. I mean, it doesn't look like it's worn out, but it doesn't really want to cut very well. I know it cut this fine, so. I don't know what's going on. Maybe there was something wrong with this steel. something at least. How the hell would I incorporate this thing here? I would need to reinforce this spot here pretty well. The jack would just push this uh, sheet metal in. But first let's uh, add some reinforcement here. if I can weld this. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna break holes in here with a electrode welder. Let's let's try. Maybe I will succeed. turn the amps way down on this. Let's try something like 65. This is so uncomfortable. I can't see anything. Literally can't see anything. What? Piece of crap. Mask. Hmm. This is useless. I still can't see anything. I think this will hold fine. And I did not do a single hole in here. I call that a total success. Yeah, I think this is fine. I mean, I was pretty sure I'm unable to do this. Because this sheet metal is probably about... 
Uh, I would say about um, a millimeter or so thick, probably even less, maybe like 0.75 or something like that. So I think I did alright here. This seems to be working fine. Now for the lifting mechanism. I mean something like this maybe. Can't really lift it very high because the dreaded rod will eventually impact this frame part here. Maybe something like this. But that would mean I would be dumping on myself from, from the bottom here. Well I would be dumping from the front but this thing would be so close to the ground not great as well. I assume something like this is probably the best option here. The more down I take it, the more lifting height I have, but uh, then again, I don't really want to take it very down because I don't really want this thing to hit the ground, you know. But I'm gonna go with this option. I think this is really the only solution I have here. I don't think there's any good solution with this jack. But uh, let's try something, maybe maybe I can do it a bit tiltable and the rest can be tilted by hand. Maybe it needs to be a bit more high up. I don't know, I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. That seems fine. Yeah, pretty much maximum. Yeah, pretty much maxed out and contact has been made. Okay, so this is about the lowest level it will go. If I go any further, it will start to have this massive blade in it. And that's kind of pointless, so... Can't base my calculations on that. Now I just need to do some kind of extension to this jack here. So it nicely reaches what it's supposed to reach down there. You know what, I think I'm gonna make this thing a free floater. Pretty much meaning that I will be I will be building this thing on top of here to kind of breach the gap between the dump bed and the jack. And on the receiving end here, I'm gonna make some kind of a float bowl. So what that will achieve for me is if I want to dump this bed by hand, I wouldn't need to use the jack. And if I want to dump something heavy, I can start off with the jack to kind of get over the heavy leverage dump area. And if it's far enough, then I can just finish dumping it by hand. Let's, let's try that. I mean, if it doesn't work out, then I can just drill a hole here and still mount it to the bed. Actually, just in case, I'm gonna drill the hole because drilling the hole here later, if I need it, is gonna be an absolute pain. A 
heavy duty, nice pipe. So I have a bunch of these steel blades laying around. About two years ago I went to a friend's garage, he was cleaning it out and he had a bunch of these uh, steel blades there. All sizes, all thicknesses. And he was like, I don't need them, you can take them if you want. That, best day of my life, hands down. I mean, check this out. This like perfectly fits between the frame bars here. Whoever got this, whenever ago, he had this build in mind. I think this eight millimeter should do the trick by supporting the under part here nicely. I think I made a huge mistake here. Actually, the jack, I think I can weld it. It needs the ability to move from both ends. For example, a cylinder here is connected on both sides, but both of these sides have the ability to move their position. I mean, if I try to jack it up right now, I'm pretty sure it's gonna bend this jack in half. So I need to redesign this a bit. What I meant by that is that the jack actually needs the ability to move like this. If it's welded like this, then it's not gonna work. like this maybe This little fellow was hiding inside my hat. Wow. Sure. Let's go outside, bro. Run away, run away. Run away, run away. Go hide. Oh yeah, this should work out just fine. Kudos to the people who actually figured this out before I did. Probably need to add some kind of a 
stopper surface back here as well. Okay, well, this is about the maximum I can go. Everything kind of starts to get in my way here. This, that, that, and also this. So I'm really pushing my margins here. And I think this option is as best as it can get. So this build is pretty much ready, but uh, I need to now finish it up. And uh, what I need to do is reinforce everything, add a bunch of support arms here and there. make it so this doesn't kind of drag on the ground. I mean it would be ideal if it stayed up like this. Okay well that was easy. These wheels and bearings are squealing like crazy. So let's see if we can address that issue and maybe service these bearings. I assume they have not seen grease in a while. But there should be two bearings in here. Hopefully they have not failed. Oh boy, that's really dry. It's so dry that it doesn't even want to come out. Nope. Why are you coming out of here, man? Useless. And now the thing doesn't even work. Don't buy this crap. Ouch. Actually, this looks a lot better. Okay. This one just jumped out on its own and 
That one wouldn't even move with the hammer. Please don't fall. Can you piss off? Thanks. I mean, this wheel seems pretty okay. Oh my lord. Oh yeah, a lot better. I have a feeling that each wheel is mounted differently. I mean that one had like a spare bearing in there. And this has a bolt in here. This had a bunch of washers here. And this is the only one that seems to be original. But this actually looks pretty good. Oh yeah, it's going all over the place. But check it out guys, fully hardcore cast iron wheels. I mean these days they make crap like this. Rims made out of freaking sheet metal. Completely worthless. useless dump method that exists in the universe but it works So next up would be to actually paint the thing. Okay, I'm gonna do the frame black and um, thing red. And then let's also name the thing. It definitely deserves a name.
That seems pretty normal, I guess. Still have a couple of things to do. Pointy ends are bad. This thing is making all sorts of weird noises. Usually there is a marking on how much you can actually wear this down, but I can't see any marking. I would say about maybe 25% left. Then why is it making this weird sound? Gearbox is fine. I assume there's something wrong with the bearing. I mean, usually if they go, it's really pointless to fix these, considering how cheap they are. Oh yeah, it's definitely the bearing. You can see that there's mountains of play in this bearing. Yep, it's the bearing. Probably would be a cheap fix though. First time I'm seeing this bearing going bad. Okay, well, I'm gonna get a new bearing and a couple of bushings. So I got a new bearing for the thing, new brushes and a new grinder just in case if things go south. At the Makita shop they pretty much told me that these bushings still have a bunch of life in it and most likely the motor is kind of fried. Just in case though I did get new bushings. Some strawberry jam, maybe. Should be fine. It would be kind of bummer if this didn't help. I think I got this thing in 2019. And if the motor burns out in like three years, then uh, doesn't really Seem like a quality duel. Here goes nothing. Oh. Nothing. I think I forgot one thing. I'm gonna check it fast. Okay, let's try again. Oh well, I think uh, this motor is toast. If you guys have any ideas, then sure, let me know in the comments.
Oh yeah, that's a lot better. I hate pointy ends. The idea is that I can lift it this high and then just manually empty the thing like this. I hope this will work. So let's go actually test this thing out. So firstly I want to test it out with some firewood and how the lawn tractor will be able to pull it. Secondly I want to test it out if this thing can dump some lighter stuff. I mean like sawdust and stuff like that. I'm never gonna dump any rocks with this, so that's completely unnecessary. Because you can nicely lock this in here so it's not gonna drag on the ground. And I could probably use this as a manual wheelbarrow as well. What is this? What is this supposed to be? Unacceptable. Uh, uh, no, thank you. Here we go, much better. Oh yeah, that's fixed. Sketchy. Not so sketchy anymore. I'm kind of thinking, will the lifting jack be able to actually dump this? It's quite heavy. But... Holy cow, it actually works. Yeah, it was kind of hard getting it started, but it actually managed it. Doesn't look so safe though, but it actually managed to push it up. Let's go for a drive. One load is definitely too much for this firewood box. I was kind of running out of ideas how to stack the firewood properly. I absolutely love it how I can just pick this thing up and manhandle it. 
all the way I want. And that's all thanks to these front wheels to take the load. Okay, next test uh, I want to do is uh, let's fill it up with sawdust and see if I can uh, dump it somewhere. So yeah, the lifting mechanism seems to help just enough so I can just get it over the hard part and if it's high enough, I can just dump it by hand. Now, if I added a bin here, I would be unable to dump it by hand. That's why I wanted this uh, section here to be kind of a free float section, if that makes any sense. Alright guys, well I'm calling it. I think this thing is pretty much finished. So in total I think I paid about 20 bucks and around two days building this thing. So I think overall it was worth it. It did fairly good on all my tests. But anyway guys, thanks for watching this video and as always I will see you in the next one. Bye!